we previously recommended the 12100F for a budget Fortnite gaming PC, but is it really? Today we're going to be looking at the 12100F in Fortnite and we'll be running this in DX12 and performance mode. You should be seeing how things roll in creative mode and the background right now. Let's see how this stacks up in public matches. To keep this real, we're also going to pair this with an entry level motherboard, the H610 ASRock. Specs should be posted right here. And as always, I'll be rolling some gameplay preps and I want you guys to not focus only on the FPS but also on our frame times. And we'll be breaking these down and analyzing these at the later part of the video. But before all of that, this video wouldn't be complete without the memes. Let's go! Me. Help me! <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's start off with creative mode. DX12 is very responsive in creative mode. A look at that performance. Just hovering at mid 300s. Obviously, we are limited by GPU here, the RTX 3050. But at the same time, the 12100F is pushing maximum clock speeds. On normal pub matches, we can see that our FPS has dropped, and this is expected as we are now on a much bigger map with a lot more players. FPS is always above 200 though, and our frame times are stable, hovering between 3 to 5 milliseconds. And this is a good range as this will keep our muscle memory consistent. VRAM usage is only at 2 gigabytes while GPU power is only at less than 100 watts this is actually a very solid experience one thing to note here is that our CPU temperature is going from mid to high 60s and this is because we are using the Intel stock iron1 cooler with performance mode creative mode continues to push really high FPS and this is now at around 500 and GPU is not maxed out however it is reaching up to 130 watts and this is still pretty impressive Jumping over to pub matches, our FPS is around 250 to 300 plus with frame times really stable around 3 milliseconds. We do still have those frame time spikes, random ones, but this is expected and normal in Fortnite. GPU utilization is not maxed out with VRAM less than 2 gigabytes. GPU power also did not go beyond 100 watts, which is really good. And I would say this is a much better experience compared to the X12 in terms of raw FPS and um, with similar consistent frame time. I would probably go with this setting if I'm using this combo. Now, if you are wanting to build an $800 Fortnite PC with this processor, click this video right here to see what pass I would recommend, and I'll see you guys over there. 